The sluice one in nice today. Welcome back to the channel, guys. No prospects today, but I have come to Hope Knows the place where they found some dendritic gold in the calcites um, on the cliffs around here. They used dynamite in the 1920s to extract it. Um, there's some pieces in the museum which I want to show you later um, but as I say there's no prospecting I'm just going to show you around the area show you the quartz vein show you the damage in the 1980s which people done removing the gold and I want to take a trip to the museum and show you the, the dendritic gold in the museum so thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this one and all this was a reef from 250 million years ago, I believe. And all this was coral reef. I think you can actually see the fossil old coral reef quite good there, to be honest, you can see it. There's loads of fossils around here. As I say, it's protected over and you're not allowed to smash any of it up to try and find any of it. And it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, you can tell that's a coral reef. So 250 million years ago, all this would have been a tropical area. Bit amazing really. It's an amazing place in the UK. If you get the chance to come down here, come and check it out. So we've come across and we found some of the fossil old coral. And if you look, there's shells, little branches of coral. I don't know why you can see it on the video because it's uh the lighting ain't too good, but look, we've got fossilized coral branches, shells, it's amazing stuff really. Right, so let's go on and have a look see if we can find the veins. So if you look at the geology, you can see all the folds in the in the rock. With all the calcite, there's white calcite there. We've got red and white down here. This is the vein. And this is what the dendritic gold was found in. All along there, can you see it all? I'll just show you a bit further on here. This is where in the 80s, people come along with steel saws and grinders and actually cut the veins out because it's really rare and worth a lot of money the dendritic hope knows gold you see where they cut the veins out you see the saw marks all along here there's the vein which the gold was contained in it's all been cut out that's why it's now the site of special scientific interest and you can't remove any material from here no more which is a good thing really because it's heritage of the UK it stops people destroying the place look all cut out see the stalk saw mark it's all been cut out but I have found a bit of vein untouched around there around the corner so we're going to show you that now but if you see all the saw marks where they cut it all out that is a prime example of a calcite vein this one has been damaged a little bit was well, not as bad as the rest, it hasn't been quite as much um, so hopefully it stays that way but can you see all the crystal calcite all here all that all that had the potential to have gold in it, most of it's gone now been took out by people but this is a prime example of a calcite vein and where the, the dendritic gold was found and it really is beautiful looking stuff let's get right in there and show you you see, see all the crystallisation going on, see it, all that, so unfortunately all the gold's been, most of the gold's been took I'd say, but this is the last remaining decent vein on Hope's nose. So, let's head down to the museum and see if they've got any there to show you. come to Talking Museum and we've come across the dendritic gold that was found at Hope's Nose and there we go that's what I wanted to show you I can best describe it as little leaves fern leaves even and that's in the white calcite with the red veinish material around it which is probably all calcite too because it comes in different colours um, and that's what was taken out of them veins of soldier on the beach, which were all been cut out and destroyed now. 
So that is a perfect example of English fairy gold, very rare. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. So thanks for watching again, people. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you like these videos, click like and subscribe, and I'll make some more for you. One man and his pan.